Now, I had a chance to go back to sleep before I went to work. Did I though? No. Did I take a nap that I sorely needed because I'm gonna work very late tonight? Absolutely not. You know what I did instead? I read Fourth Wing. Hi guys. Today we are going to be reading Fourth Wing. If you haven't heard of it, which I kind of think is impossible if you're anywhere on BookTok or BookTube, it's like Divergent Dystopian Society with Dragons. This book is about Violet. Really is going unwillingly because her mother forced her to become a dragon writer. She wanted to become a scribe, a person who spends their days recording history and going through books because that's what she loves. But her mother forced her because she's a general into the writer's quadrant where they train to the death. There's a very high chance that she will not make it through the process of actually getting to a dragon. The whole story is about her trying to navigate if this place is something she can hack, if she she actually likes being a dragon writer and how she's going to survive honestly day to day as she goes through all the different trials. If the obstacles aren't going to kill her, her classmates can. But I went through this little book and I just wanted to go through the process with you guys because I'm sure there are other people who are just as obsessed with this as I was. So never have I ever read Fortnite. <laughs> It is my first night attempting to read Fourth Wing. Don't know if I said it before, but I made a pact with my friends that I was gonna start on September 1st. Did I start on September 1st? No, but I started on September 5th, so good enough. First, I read only a couple pages, but first vibes is that it so reminds me of Hiccup from How to Train Your Dragon, and I love that movie, so I'm so excited to read more about Violet. Like, even her sister was like, she's so weak, like, they were making fun of her, like, in front of her. It just gives me Hiccup and Viking vibes. Also, I love that she's, like, a book lover. All she wants to do is read, and, like, that's her connection to her dad. Like, I'm already loving Violet. Very excited to read the rest. I'm gonna read a little bit tonight because I have to get up early tomorrow and then I will update you guys as I go along. I hate being right all the time. She's on the parapet. She's like crossing the slippery bridge. She meets Rihanna and the other one is Dylan. Dylan gets this long sappy story. His fiance is waiting for him. He goes, I'm not dying, Dylan says with way more confidence than I feel as he tugs a necklace from under his tunic to reveal a ring dangling from the chain. She said it would be bad luck to propose before I left, so we're waiting until graduation. He kisses the ring and tucks the chain back under his collar. The next three years are going to be long ones, but they'll be worth it. I write, He's dead or she's cheating. End of chapter one. Dylan slips, falls, and dies. That was way quicker than I thought it would be. I thought they would draw it out, but the conclusion is still the same, okay? Also, we meant seated. We love a good enemies to love her. And she's like, are you gonna kill me? And he's like, why would I waste my energy killing you when the parapet will do it for me? And then he smiles and Dylan dies. I'm a sucker for it, I guess. So it's been a couple of days since I last read Fourth Wing, but I am so determined because I've been thinking about it ever since I started reading it. It made me watch How to Train Your Dragon. All I keep thinking about is what her superpower is gonna be that she gets from the dragon and which dragon is going to choose her. So I'm like really excited to continue reading. so much she finally thinks of one good thing that could come of being a writer and it's the fact that she can magically power pens forget about the badass writing the drag no pens though so it is 155 i just got to threshing which is on october 1st of this week's season yay just got to page 155 so much interaction has happened between zayden and violet or he calls her violence their attention is everything and i'm really getting annoyed like she's low-key attracted to her best friend dane and wants her to leave and become a scribe because he's like you're scrawny and you're not gonna make it he basically does not think she belongs there meanwhile zayden is like throw some daggers around girl you're fine because i just know our girl violet is gonna get this badass dragon and some really cool powers and i'm so excited oh my god i'm so happy the black dragon that is super rare that hasn't like been seen in centuries chose violet because she was saving a baby dragon that was gonna be hunted by those assholes in her class and he was like get on my back silver one let's go it's giving me such hiccup and toothless vibes i love it i was so excited my heart is like filled with excitement 
because of this. I love her dragon, Taryn, so much. She like completely slips and falls off his back and he catches her with his claws and he's like, stop it, you're making us look bad. He's like, get it together. For some reason, he is basically like accommodating her. Other dragons, if their rider falls off, they're just letting them die. I wanna keep reading so bad, but it's two in the morning. Definitely have to sleep, but the bond has happened between her and Taryn and Darna, so she's two dragons. Zayden's dragon is mated to Violet's dragon, and so they're interconnected forever. Hello, soulmates. <laughs> I'm so annoyed by Dane, though. Like, he kissed her after the threshing, and then he was like, mm, it's kind of bad for my rep if I date you, so that's why I'm not gonna follow through. She's just kind of realizing that he's kind of a scumbag, which I love for her, honestly, because he's nowhere in comparison to Zayden. I want to keep reading so bad, but I have to go to sleep. I've been reading kind of on and off today, but now I'm on page 250. So just a couple of updates on what has happened. Number one, best scene in the book. Well, this part's not the best, but Violet gets attacked in her sleep because some people want to take Taryn from her. Zayden steps in. He literally tends to her wounds. He brings a cloak for her. He's like, lift your foot up and laces up her boots. Now, I don't know if any of y'all are little scandal girlies, but that scene where Mr. President laces up Olivia Pope's boots. Shut up. Down, bad, feral. I am so happy. And the whole time Violet's like, stop liking toxic men. Sing, Violet, sing. And also I'm just ready for my girl because like some things have happened, like the dragons are really taking care of her right now, but I can't wait until she develops her signet. I just know it's gonna be like the most badass thing in the world. I'm so ready for her to kick some butt. Oh, also Dane's just getting more and more annoying. So like she got attacked and the reason that she was able to be attacked in her sleep was because Amber, Dane's friends, the benefits or whatever, gave away her location. And Dane was like there's no way that she did that because she's a rule follower and we can't break the rules we can't break the rules so they executed amber and dave was kind of gagged as he should be it's so good i want to keep reading so bad but it's so late and i have to get up so early but i'm on 346 i'm so excited they went on like this observation mission because they won one of their challenges and Violet got to see Mira. She's had no contact with her family except her bitch of a mother for the last years. Brianna also got a chance to see her family. And then Zayden showed up after three days. The dragons couldn't be apart. Good morning, guys. Last night, you saw me vigorously reading Fourth Wing Into the Night. It's been a while since the book has caused me to stay up so late and read. And so I went to bed ridiculously late, then had to wake up ridiculously early. Now, I had a chance to go back to sleep before I went to work. Did I though? No. Did I take a nap that I sorely needed because I'm gonna work very late tonight? Absolutely not. You know what I did instead? I read Fourth Wing. I'm now on page 400 and some very exciting developments happen. Number one, Violet is a lightning wielder. She literally knocked the shit out of Jack. Sad that she killed him. Not really, but like she's sad, so I'm sad. Zayden and Violet finally got to kill him. It was spicy. It was good spice. But then Zayden had to ruin it and be like, don't fall for me. We can't be together. And she was like, Zayden, I'm not gonna sleep with you again unless you admit that you're in love with me, which girl boss move as she should because I can't wait until the moment that Zayden's down bad for Violet and admits it. I, I bet he's already in love with her by 1000%. That's where I'm at and I'm so excited and I have to stupidly go to work. I cannot wait to finish this book. We're finishing fourth wing today. I'm making that claim now. That's a bold claim, but I'm making it because I was supposed to finish it last night and I got ready and I had all my stuff out here. I had fourth wing by my bed. It's right there. And instead, I read a cheesy, cutesy, corny Halloween book on my phone. Do I regret it? No. But now we're gonna do this because we're in a very precarious spot. Zayden and Violet finally got together. Zayden was like, fuck it, we're just gonna be together. I do love you, I'm down bad. And yet, they were interrupted because there's been an attack of some sorts. I also just like, I'm really scared of what's gonna happen next in the book. I know someone's gonna die. I just know it. So Garrick interrupted them while they were, you know, they're trying to like get dressed as fast as they can. And because they were at a dance before they met up, she's in this like skirt dress type of thing. And he's like, I really don't want you to be cold. They're literally under attack. And he's like, I'm worried about the temperature at which you are feeling. <laughs> Wait, they're not under attack? It's just a part of war games? 
Are you joking? Oh my god, I just got to the part where they got to their station for war games and it turns out it's not a game. They've been sent there to die and it was all Dane's fault because he read Violet's memory without her permission and saw what Zayden had told her about him going to Athvine and he sent them to die and he just told his best friend, I'll miss you. And Violet just learned that she got betrayed by Zayden because he didn't tell her the truth about this whole thing, about how their entire kingdom is corrupt and how Venon exists and how Zayden's working with the enemy and she just feels really betrayed. I feel really sorry for my girl Violet here. She's just getting whiplash left and right by the men. Zayden is like, I'm not your wing leader anymore. I'm not gonna force you to fight to defend these people against these Venon creatures who they've been told they're not real. Every single one of them decide to fight, including Violet. God, so Violet just used like all of her energy and her powers to kill one of the venom with her lightning which badass but now she's struggling for her life because i think they poisoned her and now we get satan's point of view i actually start crying because brennan's alive i'm so happy for violet her brother's alive and he's just been hiding because he wants to be part of the revolution liam died satan gave Violet the carving he was making of Andarna even though in their culture they're supposed to burn it and Violet and Zayden are gonna fight against the people they're rebuilding Arishia also this line killed me I've forgotten what it felt like to be loved really truly loved it had been so many years since dad died but then Violet gave me those words gave me her trust her heart and I remembered I'll be damned if I don't fight to keep them. Needless to say, five stars. This is only the third book of the year that I'm giving five stars. And I've read about 55 books. Obviously, I gave this book five stars. I loved it so much. I was explaining the plot to my mom and she was just like, Game of Thrones, Divergent. But I was like, it is unlike anything I've read before. Just the way that it's described. Just going into it, I really didn't know what to expect other than I was getting dragons out of it. But it was so much more than I was expecting. I could not get over the different elements to this world. I immediately ordered Iron Flame, the second book. I pre-ordered it because it's not out yet. I have to know what happens. I'm just incredibly excited to continue and I haven't been into like a fantasy series in a very long time. Let me know what you guys thought. I hope you guys liked it as much as I did. I love you guys. Never again can I say never have a red full thing. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!